Hello, welcome to another tutorial of ERP SAP team. Today we are going to discuss how to get the maintenance expenditure occurred on any equipment in SAP. See, uh, we have a plant, we have machineries, we have so many equipments in our company, but we are not able to identify that how much of the expenditure occurred in respect of the maintenance. Okay, so we have a uh, transaction code IW38. IW38 is a transaction code through which we uh, take out the idea regarding the how much ex much expenditure occurred on any equipment. See, there is a beauty in SAP database that. Uh, uh, while we're creating the maintenance order uh, in the system there is a process and once we complete each and every step of the process then the each and every table of the respective uh, task will maintain okay and once we are trying to identify the data then system will generate the report IW38 you need to fill the if you want to uh, get the for particular period then fill the period otherwise don't fill the period and in the location data fill the maintenance plan okay once you maintain the plan in the location data you need to execute the transaction code okay see uh, see this is the uh, beauty uh, description and uh, there is a equipment fine this is the plant cost this is the total actual cost okay and uh, see uh, you will get the respective notification number there is a equipment number for example we have a microwave mini link we have a modem of the we have a, a tejas s2225 so uh, select the equipment table equipment column and apply the subtotal on the equipment then see for example we have a uh, this equipment uh, 65 rupees uh, expenditure occurred here on this equipment 500 here on this equipment 60 680 rupees 52,800 expenditure occurred 6233 5, okay so uh, switch EWS to RSU we have expenditure occurred on this in the Anu Prayam exchange FID fine with respect to this notification and we have a separate maintenance order so total sum submission of the actual is there okay so you need to you need to identify okay on the basis of these table and uh, using IW38 you will get the report using IW39 you will get the report of the maintenance order equipment wise maintenance order for example if you have a equipment list then you can apply in the equipment field upload the multiple equipment and you will get the report and you can uh, go in the list go in the save go in the file you can save in the spreadsheet format okay in the respective location provide the path and dot xls name of your file that expenditure cost so in sap you will need to correlate all the data steps is first we create the notification then we create the maintenance order then we'll generate the purchase requisition purchase requisition will be approved by the competent authority competent authority will approve the purchase requisition then we will place the purchase order to the vendor for the taking of the external services respect to your equipment okay then once the vendor will provide the bill then you will create the service entry sheet and uh, you can verify the service entry sheet using computer authority okay You can verify the service entry sheet using competent authority and 
then you process for the Miro noise verification and uh, then subsequently the vendor payment and we at the time of the quarter ending at the time of half yearly ending uh, at the time of the annual report ending annual financial year ending we need to identify that how much of the expenditure occur for uh, in our plant okay how much amount of the maintenance expenditure occur in our plant we should keep in your mind how you can you can get the idea from the your uh, gl okay in the maintenance gl this cost has already going to booked account officer will give you the brief idea that in this financial year in your plant uh, 1 lakh rupees 10 lakh rupees 20 lakh rupees is occurred for the maintenance but being a plant in charge being a section in charge you should also know these things that how much amount of the how much amount we have spent on each and every equipment okay this tutorial we have created for the educational purpose only for understanding purpose only for the knowledge sharing purpose only for the training purpose only so it's my humble request to all of you please share this knowledge with your colleagues and friends who is working in this particular areas and uh, see once you share this knowledge the knowledge will spread throughout your organization and uh, if your each and every employee is uh, able to correlate all the basic concept of the sap that uh, where is the flow is going and uh, where is uh, actual cost is going okay then you will you will get the best result from your employee side so by giving them to suitable concept dots uh, training materials and all you will identify these things okay you can also visit our sap pm sap mm sap ps playlist uh, we have already created so many tutorials for uh, all of you and it is totally free uh, we have shared these things uh, for just understanding purpose okay in sap pm uh, there is a good flow of the concepts okay from functional location we have so many exchanges we have so many sections and then in the particular location uh, particular exchanges we have so many sections like indoor outdoor transmissions depending on your company requirement uh, there is a separate task for this okay so if you you have any query on your mind please mention in the comment section and uh, we will give you the suitable result if you are able to reply and uh, if you have any uh, technical query like uh, any critical query then just coordinate with your uh, sap pm consultant sap consultant which uh, was developed the uh, all the portfolio and onboarding in your organization so it's very important okay so thank you if you think that this is a useful tutorial for you then please press like button and if you're new on our youtube channel the rpsap team then please subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for our latest sap video updates see you in the next tutorial take care bye bye keep smiling keep learning